Morning, all. Here uh, to uh, there's been on um, some of the forums a lot of talk about what precisely determines a barber shop scent. I'm just going to do uh, one of my favorite shaves, and uh, to me, it's what the best barber shop smell combo you can get. Again, that's just me. And one what I'll do, what I'm going to include in it that was that popped a lot of eyebrows when I asked about it was, does anybody use this as a pre-shave? I'm going to show you how I use it. Uh, I normally only use it when it's, my blade is on its last kick. Um, one, you know, it's going to gunk it up a little bit. And uh, two, if the blade is on its last kick, it might be a little rougher and this can, you know, detract from that a little bit. I don't use much. Like that. Even this, I think, might be too much. And now, to everybody who asked, it, it doesn't burn. I don't know why a lot of people would think of that, because... Otherwise, it would burn if it was put on your chest or something. Maybe it does for you, and maybe that's just your chemistry. But, uh, no, it's already starting to get a nice, cooling, tingling sensation. It's hitting right in the eyes. Whoa. Smells good, though. So there's your menthol eucalyptus kind of backup. And the next, this, I am, I don't know why, but I'm hooked on it lately. <laughs> well with this, my syntax. For some reason the combination of these two is synergistic. Yes, I know, I'll need more water. Perhaps a lot more water. There we go. Perfect. I'm using my Ambrelli with, I think there's an Astra in here. Yes, there is an Astra Superior Platinum, third use. I knew it was an Astra Feather. And for the, uh, as far as the, during the shave, I don't really notice much difference. Well, obviously, except for the, uh, camphor eucalyptus menthol scent and, uh, the cooling effect. Just take this spark quick. There is some gunkage. That's why it's a good idea to use this on your last kick. But 
all up to you. But as for uh, as I was saying, during the shade you get the, the scent and the cooling factor, but where it really shines is the post shave feel. I mean, Vaseline's been used for hell. Oh, probably almost centuries at this point to uh, get rid of burns and so forth and I don't see why now would make it any different I don't know if, if you know what I mean it's been used as a soothing agent I should say and as a conditioner for the hair scalp and skin I mean, for one, this Blue Magic, it's um, a hair dressing, conditioner slash hair dress, and uh, keeps hair as nostril and lustrous, promotes a healthier hair and scalp. First ingredient, petrolatum. Plus it just has that medicinal old school smell that says barbershop to me. That's why barbershop is such a <sighs> What's the word? Subjective. Such a subjective term. I think it was on what shaver review on this topic came up and um you know basically it all boiled down to you know what's your favorite barbershop scent what do you define as barbershop and well it, it's such a catch-up because it's if you were to say barbershop to somebody from the middle east they're thinking lemon oil and rose adder if you say it to somebody from England, they're most likely going to say sandalwood. If you say it to somebody in the Mediterranean, uh, Italy, for example, you say barbershop, they're going to be thinking uh, orange and lemon, like uh, aqua de parma. Yeah. And even in different parts of the States, I mean, it all depends on the age of the person you talk to. You say some barbershop to somebody old from the West Coast, they're going to think uh, lilac. Say it's on the East Coast. They'll think Hoffman. So it's all very, very, very subjective. I personally, for one, would love to see a soap that 
has all the typical barbershop qualities. It's got a little lilac, it's got a little rose, it's got a little bit of menthol and eucalyptus in there, it's got sandalwood, it's got a little, all of it, you know, a little some oak moss, everything. I don't even know if that could be possible, but it should be. That's that. I mean, let me try it off. Oh, so soft face and still a slight cooling sensation going on, which is very nice. And uh, feels well hydrated. I mean, Honest to God, guys, try it if you haven't already. And um, for afterwards, I'm going to use one of my just personal favorites. If you notice, everything in this setup has been remarkably cheap. But it works remarkably well, and that's the important point. I've just started trying this whole bomb then splash and after blue or after fresh followed by the king just a very very great smell combo for me i mean you get the that bow aquatic almost uh barbicide kind of smell from the after which is nice it's a simple clean masculine scent follow it up that your face feels great you smell great and uh, you look great so that was this try it you might like it i do